everybody. Um, I'm making this video over again because I didn't like the way I made it the last time. And I was didn't have enough time. I ran out of time. So I'm going to make this fast. I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to make it lovely. I'm going to make it cool because I love my Lush. Now, Lush. I'm a Lush junkie. I became a Lush junkie earlier this year as I was passing through one of the stores in Washington, D.C., Georgetown to be specific. Um, I went in there and I looked at the products. I was like, what kind of weird store is this? I've heard about Lush before, but it was more so in reference to um, the ocean salt, which I did enjoy, um, and also in reference to something else like their shampoos and conditioners and things. But I heard they have sodium well sulfate in it. Don't use sodium sodium laurel sulfate on my hair. But they have actually changed the ingredients. We'll discuss that another time. So I went in there and I was looking for like a mask and I was looking for something for my skin and the sales associate, lo lovely sales associate, helped me and made me help me find one called Love Lettuce. Went home and tried it. It was so fresh. It was so nice. I loved it. And it made me intrigued to find out more about Lush, which is a very natural cosmetics company. They make their own products. It's all handmade and pretty much on every item that you buy, it shows who made it. Fresh ingredients, cocoa butter, shea butters, lavender oils, tea tree oils, mango butter, different things that you normally don't find in other stores, you find at Lush. And the thing about it is their stuff works. The stuff I use works. I've only had a two, few duds. Fresh Pharmacy made me break out. Um, but people rave it. The calamine in it, the wonderful ingredients in it, the soothing qualities. It didn't soothe my skin. It broke it out. But there's a lot of items that are wonderful that I must rave. So let's get started. Um, one of the few products I tried was, in the beginning, was Buffy. Good stuff. Um, this was a thought concept that was made up by a um, one of the makers, one of the women that you know makes the items. She found this that she went to Brazil and she's noticed that some of the women on the beaches they like to use um, salt and oil, like sunning oil, to exfoliate their bum, exfoliate their butt, which is wonderful because they say Brazilian women have great bums. So she actually helped make this. This has cocoa butter, shea butter, and I think mango butter, but I know cocoa butter and shea butter, dookie beans, zuki beans, lavender oil. It smells like lavender and something else. It smells really, really good. But this here really helps to exfoliate your legs, exfoliate your back, your butt side, your back side. It's called, it was called Buffy the Backside Slayer. And exfoliates your elbows, knees, legs, everything. It feels wonderful. And it's worth the price. It's $9 for the half amount, 3.5. And it's seven for the seven ounces, which I got, which lasts me still here. I've had it since June. Um, I cut into pieces. It is around $20 to $22 in the 20 something dollar range. But it's a great item. Get it. Um, another thing with soaps is that, oh, my little baby here. Honey, I washed the kids. It's almost done. It has a little honeycomb thing on the, on the top here. This makes your day special. It smells like toffee and honey, and it smells delicious. Guys, get this stuff. It makes your skin feel lovely, too. And guess what? It works well with Mange 2. Mange 2. Mange stands for bath in French. So it's not like mangy dog. It's Mange. And I have a few of these. It has white chocolate in it. And this here, these wonderfully blend together. It has white chocolate, banana, cocoa butter, shea butters, mango butters, different things like that in a solid. So if you want to massage someone, you massage it in your hand, or you can just rub it all over your body, all over their body, rub it in. And it's tasty. It has a taste to it. Not like a heavy taste, but if you lick your arm, you can taste it a little bit. Great stuff. I love this thing. Um, I stocked up on this by accident when I went to um, Orlando because I was less junky and I wanted to find it in Orlando. because It wasn't in North Carolina when I was there. But you don't need to stock up on this. Unless you don't have it in your area or you don't want to order online and you want to buy three. I bought three and I'm yet to finish the one that I have now. I finished one. I'm on the second half of the other one. And this is another one. So this won't be done until like May, March sometime next year. Get one at a time if you want to. It's fresher that way, trust. Um, another thing that I enjoy 
as far as bath things that work well together or work well. Um, this here is the muddy looking Rasul clay one. It's called Mud Flats. It's cured. I cured it. I'll tell you more about curing later. It was really soft. And this is like a mud. It has Rasul clay, which is really good, or Gasul clay, as some people call it. And it's really good to help with the face. I have actually a bag of this clay that I use on my skin. And it works really, really, really good. This here is used for your body. It's like a mud pack for your body. It doesn't destroy your tub. And it really makes your skin feel really, really clean afterwards. And it doubles also as a facial cleanser if you're in a jam. It makes your skin feel so soft and smooth and clean, like you're deep cleaning your skin. And I've never experienced anything like this. You will not find this anywhere else. I'm guaranteeing you this. So this is great for Lush. And for a fourth of a pound is about $6 and change, one of the cheaper items from Lush. So try that. Get a small one if you don't know if you really want it. Try it out. You will love it. Um, Dream Cream. Great stuff. This is wonderful for the skin. This really helps. If you have eczema and if you have psoriasis and you have itchy dry skin, you need to use this. This is better than a lot of things that I have used over the years. A lot of money has been wasted buying things that don't work. This works. $22 of goodness. I cannot rave about this enough. This has really changed my skin because I've had times where my skin was just outrageous. For my on my body, I get eczema on my arms, on my stomach, my back even, and this has cleared this bad boy up. Use this stuff, people. Oat milk, tea tree oil, lavender oil, benzoin, which helps heal, syrup alcohols, emollients, um, cocoa butter, olive oil, ceric acid, whatever that does, nobilis, whatever, can rose flower oil. Use this stuff, people. I'm telling you. I rave about this. I can't rave about it enough. Volcano. Great stuff, too. This is actually great for the feet. You just slather it on. It's a good clay. Slather it on your feet. Put the place plastic bag. Yes, plastic bags over your feet. Let it soak in. When it lets you soak in for about 20 minutes, take it off. Your skin will be transformed on your feet. I like to use your pet, my pet egg before this, and it really helps smooth it out. I don't really have much of a rough foot, but... I don't like going to get pedicures because I don't feel many of them are sanitary and it's kind of expensive. So I'm a college student. So this really helps. Um, I've had this since August and I've had a lot left. See, it's papaya in it, clay, Benetton clay in it, kaolin clay in it, um, pumice in it too to help exfoliate. Potatoes, glycerin, tomatoes, and papaya really helps. Um, and has cinnamon inside there. It really helps to take away the badness of your feet and your skin. Sulky underwear. Love this stuff too. It smells delicious. It has cocoa butter in the powder. And also got the Sulky underwear solid. And guess what? Sulky underwear solid is going to be, oh, I love this stuff. It's going to be discontinued if it's no longer in production. So if you have to go to the store and get it. It's not even online anymore. Sulky underwear is online. It's a permanent, not going anywhere item. Wonderful stuff. Even has the person that made it on pretty much every less product. Um, this item here, miraculous. It does a great job with keeping your skin dry and fresh and smooth and silky. Um, I think I'm going to run out of time soon, but let me hurry up. Do another one. Let me just go over my favorite last ones. Not the ones I haven't tried yet. Paradise Regained. New. Wonderful. Raveable. Please try this stuff if you have a combination skin that gets or dry skin in the wintertime. This has a sunscreen in it. it exfoliates the face too. It has um, alpha hydroxy acids in it. Natural. It softens my skin like nobody's business. I use Retin A, so my skin will peel. This stops the peeling, stops the dryness of my face all day long. I don't think I can use this in the summer, but as far as winter time and fall is right now, this is gonna help my skin miraculously. It even helps my acne, my clogged pores. It has Great ingredients in it, such as green tea infusion, which is the first ingredient, green tea infused with water, or almond oil, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, pineapple, green grapes, and different oils inside of it that really help the skin, and it has sunscreens in it. So I don't need to use a separate sunscreen, and it keeps my face soft and luscious and smooth. Um, another thing that I use just quickly is the tea tree toner tab. Drop this in your water when you do your steam for your face. And it helps my skin feel really, really soft. And it helps that acne, actually. Use this before. I use the bowl before my mask. Bye, everybody. Ooh, it's so rushed. <laughs>